Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches, Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow mathematicians, this is Mr. Woods Teaches, and today I'm working on video 3 of 5 for the 8th grade end of year mathematics series. Number 11, a chef uses 2.5 cups of sugar for every ounce of butter in a recipe. Which graph shows the relationship between the amount of sugar and the amount of butter in the recipe? Let's take a look here. So these graphs says here amount of sugar is in the y direction and the amount of butter is in the x direction. And notice we have ounces here and cups here for the sugar. Let's take a look. So we're looking at for every 2.5 cups. So if I went up to about five, uh oh, I should have two ounces, but I don't have that there. That, so definitely not A. B, well, wait a minute, if I have two and a half, that's about, let's say that's about three cups and I'm not having any ounces there. Uh, butter, so that's definitely a no. Let's take a look here at C. It starts out, at, but again at zero, I have butter there already, so that's not going to do it. Let's take a look at D here. Again, this is the amount of sugar in cups and the amount of butter in ounces. And we know that 2.5 cups of sugar for every ounce, or 2.5 cups per ounce. So let's look at this. So we have 10 and 4. So I was looking at that and going, I think that's absolutely correct. But we can use math to validate this correct because, let's take a look here. So 2.5, and that's going to be cups per ounce, so cups per ounce, times 4 ounces. And I know that since I'm multiplying, the ounces get canceled out. And that's going to give me my answer in, in the terms of cups here, or those units of cups. So I have 2.5 times 4. 2.5 plus 2.5, or 2.5 plus 2.5, is equal to 5. And I double that, it's going to be 10. And I have 10 cups. One thing to remember is that if your teacher says, I want you to show your work and show the units, you need to make sure that you're using the proper units here. Okay? And D is definitely the answer. Let's take a look at number 12. Two rectangles are shown. Rectangle M has a perimeter of 20 inches. Rectangle W has a perimeter of 30 inches. So let's just, I just want to put here P is equal to 20 inches. 20 inches. And right here, this has the perimeter is equal to 30 inches. It's just to make sure that I know that before I do anything else. So I'm not sure if it's relevant or not, but let's take a look here. So this is my given information. It says, what are the values of D and T? Ah, so we have these unknowns, T and D here. And how do we do this? We know that t plus d plus 4 plus t plus d plus 4 is going to equal to 20. So I can write that out. I can actually write that out. I have t plus, let's get that funky t, there we go, t, there's my two t's, plus, I'm going to put here 2 times d plus 4 equals 20. Okay. And I can rewrite that as 2t, because it's 2 times t, plus 2d plus 8 equals 20. So I did that and multiplied through. So I could do something similar here for, for this rectangle. So this is, this is M. I'm going to try to do this really quickly over here. So D plus 1, making it so that it's, um, I'm multiplying through. I'm just going to do this in my head. So I have 3T, but I have two of those. So 2 times 3 is 6. So that's going to be 6T. And this is for W. 6T plus... And then there's two of these, so 2D plus 2 equals 30. 
So I have these two equations. I have two in unknowns. What can I do? Well, what I can do is I can say, well, wait a minute. Here's W. I have this here for M. I can just write down M here. So 2T plus 2D plus 8 is equal to 20. And I'm going to subtract that. So I'm, I'm just going to subtract that. Now, if you want to, you can go through and change this all to negative 2t minus 2d minus 8 minus 20. I'm hoping that you can understand what's being done here. So we're just going to subtract. So I'm going to have this equal. So 30 minus 20 is 10. Okay. 2 minus 8. That's it's going to be minus 6. That's a 0. So I have 6t minus 2t. So here we go. There's 4t minus 6 equals 10. Now, one of the things I, I do want to go back. I was looking at this. I was like, okay, how am I going to be substituting? I could have solved for t over here or solved for d and then plugged it in. But I noticed that we had these two d's in common. That gave me an idea that I could subtract one from the other. And I chose to subtract w minus m because here we have, this is a smaller t here and such. So as well as the top here right, for their answers. So now I, I can solve for t. I can add 6 to each side. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to say plus 6 and plus 6. So now I have 4t equals 16. And then I'm going to divide by 4 here and divide by 4 here. And now I solve for t is equal to 4. Okay, now I can plug it back into either one of these right here. I'm just going to do it for the first one. So I'm going to have uh, 2 times 4 plus 2d plus 8 is equal to 20. All right, there you go. So make that 4 better. So now I have 8 plus 2d plus 8 is equal to 20. Now I have 2d plus 16 is equal to 20. See, I'm just taking this step by step, trying to keep all my numbers in the in a line. So td, I'm going to subtract 16. So I'm going to say minus 16 here, and I'm going to subtract 16. So now I have 2d is equal to 4. Divide by 2 on each side. So D is equal to 2. Wow. So D is equal to 2. There's only one of them right here. And T is equal to 4. This satisfies it right here. Could I have gone through and plugged in these numbers? Yes. Could that have been easier for you? Possibly. I like it doing it this way. It's I like the challenge. I like the mathematics behind it. I like looking at it and going, yes, I definitely was able to verify and get this going. I can plug everything back in. Well, let's take a look here. So to validate it, 2t, I'm just going to multiply this by my hand. So 2t is equal to uh, 8 plus, and then 2d is plus 4, right? That's going to be, so d is 2. Uh, that's going to be 2 times 2 is 4 plus 8. And I know that 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 4 is 20. So yes, that is absolutely, we validated it right here. 13. The vertices of a triangle are located at D, negative 4, negative 2, E, 2, 2, and F, 0, negative 4. A sequence of transformations to triangle DEF results in triangle D prime, E prime, F prime, as shown to the right. Okay, so this is the result of a series of transformations. Which sequence of transformations to triangle D, E, F results in triangle D 
prime e prime f prime well first we need to draw this right here this triangle here so and we have point d our vertice d is at negative 4 negative 2 so negative 4 go here negative 2 that's going to give me d okay and then it's going to be e is at 2 2 so there's 2 1 2 And then f is at 0, so x is 0, and negative 4, so f is here. So there's d, e, f, right? Let's draw this real quickly. Let's see if I can do this relatively straight, get a nice looking triangle. I did that so this is the original triangle here and I can tell that the original triangle is much larger than the transform triangle so therefore the scale is probably a fraction of what the uh, original triangle was so I know it's going to be a fraction there's some sort of rotation and I'm I don't think I'm not sure it just depends on which way it's rotating so it's telling us 90 degrees so I'm saying I'm thinking that it's going to be clockwise because here's D and there's D F F and such so it's going around and there's a dial again a dilation that's that's a fraction so if we look here it says a 90 degree counterclockwise you know it's definitely going clockwise so I'm just going to stop there but I'll, let's re finish reading not the origin, then a dilation by a scale of factor of 2. Again, there, it can't be a factor of 2 because that would make it larger. B, a clockwise rotation. Ooh, so there we go. About the origin, then a dilation by a scale of factor of 2. Can't be that. Nope. I, it, it just cannot because, again, this is smaller. C, a 90 degree counterclockwise Remember, counterclockwise is like this. This is counterclockwise, and this is clockwise. So therefore, this is definitely not it. However, it has this fraction here. Okay, see, I was looking at this, and then I say no to that one. A 90 degrees clockwise rotation about the origin. Okay, it's definitely clockwise. Then a dilation by a scale factor of one half with a center of the dilation at the origin. That's our answer. That's the only one. And notice how I, I didn't do any math here other than plot this triangle here and draw the lines for it and say, hey, I recognize that this is smaller. Okay, so if I can come up here, I can I can do this. I can say it is D, triangle DEF is greater than triangle D prime E prime F prime. Look at your picture. Understand how to interpret what you're reading. If you don't understand what counterclockwise is and clockwise, and then also what a dilation is, you need to understand what that is before you can answer this properly. 14. A school booster club had a t-shirt sale to raise money. After the sale, an inventory showed that 108 blue t-shirts and 96 green t-shirts had been sold. The sizes of these t-shirts included 60 small, 86 medium, and 58 large. What we can do is take a look at this here, and we're, we're looking at the, these numbers, and we want to add it across. So, you know, here, let's see here, there's 60 plus 50, uh, or 60 and 60, let's say that's 120, oh, that's 200, so that's just, this one just cannot do it because it's over 200, adding just these just the blue t-shirts up. Let's look over here. 34, 46, and 28. So 34 and 46, that's going to be 70, 80. Huh. There's 108, so that's 108. Okay. Do we have 108? So that 108 blue, ooh, t-shirts. I'm going to go back here, 96, 20, wait, there's 40, there's 70, and then 96, so that's 96, ooh, 
that matches because we have 96 green 34 and 26 there's 50 plus another 10 there's 60 Ooh, 60 small 86 medium look at that 86 medium and then 20 and 30 plus 8 that's 58 and 58 large that's our answer didn't have to go too far for that one but you see what I did is I just started adding things up you know I add them across because I'm looking for the number of blue t-shirts and the number of green t-shirts now I can look at these other numbers are there any others that have 34 46 and 28 no no so it's not they're just not adding up there's 73 plus another 30 that's 103 minus one so yeah it, it, it's it's gonna be 102 so that definitely doesn't add up 26 well there's 70 96 blue nope because we were looking for uh, 108 blue so definitely this one's not it and this one's not it 15 what is the value of K in the equation shown below so it's looking for the value of K and here's here it is right here so I have 5 squared times 5 to the K is equal to 5 to the fourth parentheses around it cubed first thing I want to do is I want to get, get this going here so let's take a look here so I have 5 squared times 5k 5 to the k and this this is going to be 5 to the fourth times the third okay you see where I'm doing that oops I gotta put my equals in there so now I have 5 squared times 5 to the k is equal to 5 to the 12th I want to get rid of this over here because I'm trying to solve for K right so I just divide each side by 5 squared divided by 5 squared All right so 5 to the K is equal to now if you recall it's going to be 5 to the 12th and then this is when you do this when you're dividing by it has the same base and there's different roots and such so it's going to be minus 2 okay so I could just I'm going to put this out here it could be 5 to the 12th okay times 5 to the minus 2 that's the same thing as converting it there so so now it would be equal to that 12 minus 2 so 5 to the K is equal to 5 to the 12 minus 2 which is 5 to the 10th so we can reason that K is equal to 10 so C is my answer you need to understand how to work with exponents and understand like bases and, and other information like that so when you're multiplying dividing and working with exponents that you can come in here and just see how to systematically solve this problem thank you for watching please remember to like share and subscribe to mr woods teaches math and watch for me to correct my mistakes on tiktok at mr woods teaches